I know many people are not gonna talk about it, but I am gonna talk about it. If they hate me, let them hate me. I don't give a I want to help. I'm here to help, and that's all. What's up, old schooler? Samir Banud here. I just got a surprise visit by the old school. And I was like, what? So this is something we're gonna do. It's gonna be spontaneous. We wanna talk bodybuilding and whatever. What's going on in the sport of bodybuilding today? And we are very happy and fortunate because one of our old school became Mr. Olympia, Brayon, which is fantastic. And really, this is what, what we like to see. And of course, uh, Sean Roden, who was Mr. Olympia, was unbelievable. He had brought in the beauty on the stage, and we love that. And of course, Flex Lewis won his uh, category as usual. Congratulations to all of them, every winner. But uh, again, um, I'd love to discuss bodybuilding in general, you know. Uh, you, you know, there are great things happening and there are people that is actually uh, correcting certain things. But from my perspective, there are million, well, not million, but a few things that need to be corrected. Once more, I want to let people know I'm not against massive muscle. No, 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 never. Bodybuilding is an art. It's an art form, it's a performing art, it's a beauty. It should be like muscle in a beauty contest, basically. Nobody wants to train to look bad. But in the past, I've said it, some of the athletes have made mistakes. And sometimes it's not their fault. It's on the hand of coaching, really. I blame this on coaching. I blame what's going on in the sport on ill advice ill-advised by inexperienced coaches. And when I say that, I mean that. You know, we have a few beautiful coaches out there. We do, but really not, there's not too many. And you know, my best, my best advice, being an old schooler, is stick to what works, stick to the basic, the good things. We need to keep this sport as a healthy sport. As it is, there are things that are unhealthy, but then again, why you bust your butt and you try everything in the book to become good, to, be, to reach the pinnacle, to be the best of the best. But if there's something isn't right for you, this is why I want to point and turn your attention. I want you to hear me out. You, there are things that should not be done. I see even in the classic division right now, guys that is actually somewhat starting to get that bloated tummy. That's in the classic. So yes, there are things out there that need to be fixed up. This is where I come in to really give you my own opinion. No disrespect for anybody, by the way, no disrespect. I will not give any advice that I don't firmly believe. Even sometimes I made so many mistakes, but I really do want you to learn from those mistakes. Don't get big too fast. Take your time. Gain muscle the right way. There is a right way and there is a wrong way. Don't rush. You think the government told you to drive 65, 75 miles an hour? Why the, what's the reason for that? It's, they're looking after your safety, really. Some people want to drive 200 miles an hour. But I, I honestly think, why? Why take risk, you know? Drive, you, you'll get to your des destination, but be a little more patient. This is your health, man. It's not a freeway, but it's your health. You know, I did this all my life. Like I said, at times I may gain five, six pounds a year or sometimes less. It's not about how big you are. You have to gain your quality muscle and get that onion skin muscles that having to grow any in the middle, the midsection. This is your bread and butter, your waist, your waistline. And some of the stuff that's been used, to, that, that have been used, excessively used, even, even completely should not be used, some of the stuff, because it's a major contributor to visceral fat. And it pisses me off when I hear the guys are sitting there eating 
rice cake and Nutella and honey on it, just so uh, trying to get the insulin to work. Forget about this bullshit. Forget about it. You can grow just like Arnold, like Sergio Oliva, like Tom Platts, like myself. And now look at Brayon. He won with 180 or 182 pounds. It was awesome. It is not about how big you are, but also do get big, but keep it under control. This is my point. Don't touch insulin. Don't touch insulin, period. And when it comes to GH, nobody need eight and 10 and 16 IU. This is ridiculous. When you take excessive amount of HGH2, it does, in a way, to create some kind of problem like insulin. You know, people want the muscle fuller, they want to, you know, well, we know insulin is anabolic, but if it's good, if it was good and done safely, I would keep my mouth shut. First of all, there are kids out there, they're doing it the wrong way, they're dying. And this is something we need to talk about. If there's people, life in the middle, and then I have a couple of bonehead guru. I'm gonna call them a bonehead guru. They try to say, oh, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Insulin is not okay. There have been articles, there have been books written about HGH, like, you know, Dr. Cloetry, Dallas Cloetry. He wrote a book about Grow Young with HGH years ago. Dr. Cloetry didn't tell you to use this much HGH. He did not. Even the best pituitary that of any human that God created, maybe one IU a day at night. Then, you know, you take two IU, okay. If you want to use AGA as an anti-Asian, you don't take that much. But maybe Serrano Lab recommended a high dose of AGH to HIV patient to save their lives. So no, no, this is a different story. And I, again, I'm not a doctor, but what I'm trying to point you know, fingers on what's wrong. Nobody need high dose of HGH, okay? Listen, you don't need it. I know for sure. What do you want? I've discussed this topic with the best endocrinologist in sport medicine doctor that is a professor at UCLA, okay? And I discussed that with other people. I'm not just opening my mouth. I'm talking based on facts. Taking too much if anything, really, it's not good. Because really, more is less. Just recently, I get a message from a kid. He wants me to coach him. Oh, my, I love your body, Samir. I want you to coach me and blah, blah, blah. I said, you know what? Why not? Let me see what this kid does. And I'll try to help and really put him, give him sound advice. And when I say sound advice, I really go out of my way because I want to see the kid, first of all, Priority is health. The other thing can be done, do it right, do it safely, do it under supervision, not blindly. You don't close your eyes and just listen to Joe Blow telling you double of this or triple of that. No, I know Arnold will tell you the same thing. And if Sergio Olivos Aleph will tell you the same thing, Frank Zane will tell you the same thing. You don't need too much. I know Tom Platt, look at how great he was. He didn't even look. Guys like Lee Priest, people point finger that Lee's taking this and that. No, 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 no. That's not overdoing it because, you know, most of those champions have used certain things, but they didn't close their eyes and went on doing things. It's very common now in the Middle East region. I know people are dying in Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Iran, and in the United States, we have kids that's having a major issue. And here we have more awareness, but you know, mistake can happen. You have kids overseas in the Middle Eastern country or in India, they just think insulin should be used like Decker or Bollock. This is stupid. This is why we need to clear this issue. First of all, insulin is not good for you, period. It may blow you up and make it look huge, but Simultaneously, you're feeding the visceral fat. And you know, visceral fat are hell. Visceral fat, it's a fat that inside your stomach, that's causing that watermelon, 
pregnant month. Remember, five, five pounds of fat is the size of a basketball. So even if you have two and a half pounds of fat, which is sometimes as much more than that, that's a lot of volume inside your tummy. So you have a cantaloupe, <laughs> you know, you don't need that. You don't need it. You don't need to look huge and freaky on there and then you have this bubble. And that's just the funny, some of those trying to find way to do surgical procedure to wipe up their fat and surgery has been failing, has been failing. I know one, one of these guys on the East Coast, I don't want to talk, say his name, his protocol. He's telling the kids, I would get you big. I can help you get big with this. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's your health. It's your future as a bodybuilder. And when you use this stuff, you may look good the first year, and then the second year, and then after that, what? Then you get stuck. Your career will end, and your health will get damaged, because really having visceral fat in your stomach is really the worst thing you can do for your health. Even now, Toronto Lab, the scientists in Toronto, trying to come out with medication to counteract that problem. It's a problem. It is a problem because it is actually preserving the life of the HIV patient. But go look at him. It. It's, it's coming with a side effect in that bubble. So don't think about it. Listen to someone, been there, done that, that cares about you. I know some gurus gonna say, oh, Samir is talking about, look, they are entitled to their opinion, I'm entitled to my opinion, but I know damn well what I'm talking about. And I'm just here to really help. I really mean that, I sincerely mean that. When it comes to anabolic steroids, it's a topic I don't like to talk about because again, I'm not a doctor, but I'm living around bodybuilding all my life and I see that. When I see the tip of the iceberg, I worry about you. I do worry about you. People say, Samir, hell with him. Don't, why do you bother? Well, I do care. I love the sport of bodybuilding. I love to see the sport of bodybuilding to be better than ever. I know people like, for example, I know Jim Mannion is doing a great job trying to do, a, you know, a more event. And, and the thing is they did so many different category. So the classical look stayed there. But you know what? Unfortunately, some of those classical, they're becoming slightly unclassical because it will catch up with them. So this message is from old school and from Samir Banu to tell you, beware, be smart, use your head. More is less, and it's true. Don't force your body, don't force it. The, you know, when you force your body to do things, it's, it's wrong. Train hard, yes, recuperate, eat right, your muscle will grow. That's it, be careful. Work was a proven coaching, proven. When a coach come and tell you, ah, oh, Samir is not telling the truth about HGH. You know what? Be smart, make your own research, find out. The only reason I'm here, I'm telling you, did I use HGH before? I have. Did I use in high dose? No, and thank God I didn't. Bodybuilding is not a rocket science. It's really not. But I tell people it's like a little toddler. He went and touched the electric outlet. He's getting electrocuted, and he knows not to touch it. It's time that we start helping the sport and telling the kids to stay away out of danger. Stay away from danger. I was talking about the kids in Kuwait. I calculated the milligram that he was using. I didn't finish talking about that. The kids was using over 3,100, like over 3,000 milligram of anabolic. Oh my God. It's enough for a T-Rex. Why? Why? Because he's listening to taking ill advice from a coach and that coach want him to buy this and that and that and that because he's making money from the place where he directs the kids to go buy it from certain places. Be careful, 
I know many people are not gonna talk about it, but I am gonna talk about it. If they hate me, let them hate me. I don't give a I want to help. I'm here to help, and that's all. Okay? Please train hard, train smart, be an artist, get huge, stay lean and mean, and keep it old school, man. I wish you the very best from the bottom of my heart. This is a message from me. As you can see, I am emotional about it because I do care. Okay? Thank you so much for listening. God bless and win big.